Hi, welcome to The Art of Relating, and I'm J.D. And I'm Reggie. Make sure you tune in. We got fabulous mm -hmm. guests, Bishop Brown, mm, yeah. Maureen Yancey, and Richard Pry. Make sure you tune in. Might be a surprise. <laughs> Got a very special guest with us today, Miss Maureen. Yes, yes. Right. the one yeah, and only, one of that. our roses. Yes, you know? yes. <laughs> Miss Yancey, um, one of the things I wanted our viewers to know about what you're doing, you got one. You're one of the very few female black owners of a beauty supply. That's right. And my beauty, we've been there. We've spent time yeah, with you. Yeah. Tell us. What motivated you to be an owner of a uh, black supply, beauty supply? Well, uh, first of all, thank you for having me on the show. It's a um, pleasure, yeah. Uh, I, there were a couple of things that motivated me. Um, initially, I was looking for um, an industry to get into outside of my IT industry um, that was recession proof. Mm -hmm. um, that was the first thing, uh, in a nutshell. Secondly, um, when I moved to Atlanta, I noticed a huge disparity between how much of the African-American dollars are going into the beauty supply industry and how much of it we don't own. Um, that coupled with um, an incident that happened one day at um, a beauty supply, a traditional beauty supply store that I frequented, um, kind of led me or pushed me or motivated me into wanting to open up my own store. Um, I just noticed not only the disparity, but uh, there's you know just an overall lack of respect, a lack of product knowledge, um, and this is an industry mm -hmm. that um, you know the African American pioneers, um, uh, you know, you owned, mm -hmm. and you know it's something that I feel really strongly about, you know, taking back a little bit of that at a time. Because we were so. talking about that, yeah. mm -hmm. I guess how they just seemed like. They're just everywhere else yeah, other than I, in I our own too, neighborhood. Right? I guess, too, what, that, what you said that made me think then, um, uh, you go into certain stores, they really don't know what product is good for each individual. That's right. Everybody, That's right. women of color, men of color, everybody, hair texture is different. That's right. So, different. you know, That's they're right. just trying to sell, sell, sell. That's exactly right. But one yes. of the things I want to say that made me feel so very comfortable coming in your place it wasn't no monitors on me. Yes. They didn't follow me up and down the aisle. Anybody that's yeah. been into uh, certain beauty supply places, right. you go yes. in and they, you're like a criminal as soon as you walk in. Yeah. You know, the, the monitors yes. on you. If you walk down the aisle, they follow you down the aisle. They're right. watching you, you know, and uh, yes. I felt so comfortable coming into your store. You got all of the supplies that's for right. our. Yes. Yes. Individual. W women, yes. women of color, men of color. Yes. Um, and Caucasian. And and Caucasian. Caucasian. I am a multi ethnic. You are. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, you, you got it for everybody, but you got yes. knowledgeable people there. Yes, absolutely. You know, and, yes. um, and that's one of the things I felt great about coming in. And, yes. and JD, right. you had I, a great experience. All there those, too. those, the products that you have. Yes. They're just fabulous. Thank you. And yes. your shelves are full. Yes. Location is wonderful. Yes. There's no reason that nobody can get there. You can easily get there. Mm -hmm. The ambiance is wonderful. That was, uh, yes. That's the main thing. That because was I, I'm like Reggie. I, and in our race, you know, and I'm sure in others as well, but I can only speak for our own. Mm -hmm. When you go into a place of business and you're spending as much money as you do. Yes. Because we spend a lot of money on hair we, products. We do, yes. Makeup, hair, clothing. Jewelry. Jewelry, yes. all of that. We yes. spend a lot of money on it. Yes. I don't want to come in and I've got $1,000 that I want to spend and I'm there to buy mm -hmm. and you're in my face like this. Yes. Or you're pretending that you're doing something over there and, and, you're, and you're spying on me, but I then still go ahead and spend $1,000. Right. And 
instead of you being nice, you'll be nasty or snip it. Yes. yes. And when I come out there, I mean, it was wonderful when we first talked on the phone. It was just pleasant. I was like, yes. yay. <laughs> I kept on trying to get you. And finally, we got a chance to talk. Yes. And it's been an A positive thing ever since. Yes, and then you have Miss Love there, yes. Yes. Uh, who is your floor manager. And, and she is fantastic. And not only that, she's able to do hair. Mm -hmm. um, she's very good at it. She yes. won't just do something that's just crazy. Right. Yes. She will make you look good according yes. to you. Yes. You know, and and the, and it's so it's such a comforting. Yeah. And then the 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 lotions and things yeah, that you yeah, found yeah. in there yes, yes, was unique yeah. for men. Yes. I want to, uh, so much we can talk about. We will uh, we're gonna have a lot of your information on our website. Yes. But okay. one of the things I wanted to ask you, what continue to motivate you and what you're doing and where do you want to take my beauty to? What's the next level for my beauty? Well, what motivates me, or, well, what's important to me is, you know, as you touched on, is customer service. I mm -hmm. am a huge advocate of providing the best customer service because it's lacking in the industry. Um, I wanted a warm, uh, a warm mm -hmm. uh, ambiance for a great shopping experience. Right. And no, we're not all up in your face, but you are monitored. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, yeah. I, I can see you, but right. I'm yeah. not going to follow you, yeah. um, you know, for security purposes, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But... Um, I really want to uh, take my beauty uh, to a higher level. I'm involved in um, and want to become more involved in community events. Um, mm -hmm. I am in, in talks with Dress for Success to provide, you know, hair and hair restoration needs and hair product needs for, you know, the women that Dress for Success helps. Um, right. I do provide products to, um, to cancer patients um, for hair restoration wigs, you know, um, extensions, um, and any type of beauty product, you know, on a charitable, charitable basis, you know, mm -hmm. or a highly discounted rate. So, yeah, um, yeah. so I'd like, you know, I do food drives, clothing drives. Um, you well, know, one of the like things that. I want to let everyone know, you are just as beautiful outside, inside as oh, you are outside. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, wanting to give back, you know, you uh, stepped out on faith. Yes. And opening up my right. beauty, mm -hmm. and you continue to step out to help other people. And I, I think that's the most important thing I, yes. I want to let our viewers know about you. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things, too, I used to be with, I work with Bronner Brothers, mm -hmm. yeah. and I, I, we, I always heard that they had issues with getting products and everything, but yes. when we came to your store, you, your, your shelves are full. That's right, yes. And, um, no problem. The lotions and stuff, I, I enjoy <laughs> lotions. I mean, I'm, I'm one of the men that enjoy <laughs> lotions, but I was just, just amazed, and, and hearing you talk about all the things you endeavors you in and that's very positive because we have a lot of female young females out here mm -hmm. they need to see more positive images and uh, be able it's to no, do that. it's not they all do. about yes. it's about using your brain and not showing everything that God gave you right and yes. um, you one of the people that I would want my child oh, thank or you. someone to look up to that's and, right. and, yes. and you're smart you motivated I've seen some on um, somebody Facebook um, it said that um I'm motivated, I'm intelligent, I'm, uh, all I can't even above, call right? all of them, but you, you fit the bill. Yes. And um, yes. I'm so proud that we got you here on our show. And um, yes. and of course, we're going to have you back. Yes. yes, that would be great. And we'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Dr. Linda Kelly, Cobb Wellness and Aesthetics. Renew, rejuvenate, and restore inside and out. She's located in 1905 Woodstock Road, Roswell, Georgia. And her phone number is 770-649-0094. That's 770-649-0094. Dr. Linda Kelly, Cobb Wellness and Aesthetics. My Beauty, Beauty Supply, where my beauty is your beauty. Female minority owned beauty supply retailer, Maureen Yancey, honored as one of the top 25 women of Atlanta with Rolling Out Magazine. Open six days a week. 
We're located at 5514 Lawrenceville Highway, Suite C, Lilburn, Georgia, 770-717-1740. Again, 770-717-1740. My Beauty, Beauty Supply. Hi, I'm Dr. Stephanie Rimka of Brain and Body Solutions of Atlanta, Georgia. I'm the founder of a holistic wellness practice that creates a healing playground of fun brain therapies, joyful nutrition, and relaxing chiropractic care for the entire family. We focus on hard to treat conditions such as autism, ADHD, anxiety, depression, as well as peak performance and life enhancement. For more information, if you're looking for hope for yourself or for others, please go to our website at www.brainandbodysolutions.com. Thank you. Family home, East West Jewelry. We're a boutique style jeweler that offers custom jewelry, fine watches. Need trophies? We have them too. East West Jewelers, located at 305 Peace Tree Road, 404 869 9935. East West Jewelers, come check us out. We're here with a very special guest, um, very funny comedian and actor, Shorty. How you doing today, Shorty? Everything good, man. That's Just good. Chilling. Glad to have you here with us. Uh, one of the things I want to ask you about, how did you get started in, in uh, comic? Oh, man, getting started in comedy was crazy. Um, you know, I grew up in the inside of Atlanta, uh, inner city, okay. and grew up uh, family life, street life, you know, trying to find myself, find myself out there doing some crazy things. Okay. And, um, at the point of 18 or 17, I realized that's like, you know, I ain't about this life. This ain't right. what I want to do. I got in a little trouble. When I went out, met me a girlfriend, went back to school, uh, got my diploma, caught the girl cheating on me. First okay. girlfriend. <laughs> caught her cheating on me. You know, that ruins a player so for life. It wasn't nothing funny about that. Wasn't nothing funny about that. <laughs> and she might have thought I was a terrorist <laughs> that night. And so uh, we went through it. It, went, it got bad, really ugly. And um, I had a tremendous story to tell. So I used to tell my friends in the car porch, we'd be hanging out under the car porch. I'd be telling them, everybody be laughing. One night I turned on Def Comedy Jam, Bruce Bruce, Chris Tucker. Oh, man. I say, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I can do that. So uh, some of your inspiration came from Bruce Bruce and Chris Tucker? And yeah, actually, uh, Chris Tucker is like my motivation. You know, when I uh, was coming up, I was seeing him in the movies and saw him on Def Jam doing his thing. And so um, I also saw Bruce. So I asked, you know, asking around, like, where they be telling jokes at? Found out where they was telling jokes and went down, and Bruce actually was the host. So I started up under Bruce. I toured with him for three years. We're very good friends. We did for my first comic view in L.A. I did it with him, so on and so forth, man. Okay. Now, how do you uh, separate real life from the comedy part? How you how you keep them separated? Because I know... Living life is, is sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's serious, sometimes you want to cry, sometimes you want to swing at somebody. You're right, and that's what my job comes in to make er everybody day go well, no matter how my day is going. So um, I um I just started off, man. You know, as far as how I separated, I got a family. I used to be real wild, been out in the streets doing my thing, and I had to bring it on around the corner. You know, going up into my thirties and stuff. So I got a beautiful old lady. I'm a single father of a 16-year-old, and I got okay. two sons. So when I come home, I just let, let that, all that go, and I turn into my regular self, Jamal, and um, I love on my family. Um, in a total, uh, my, my relationship is uh, monogamous, okay. and okay. I see a lot of pretty women. So I just take it all the way out, and when I step in the house, I just take off that shawty outfit and turn okay. it to my regular self. Okay, now what, what's some of the upcoming projects you got? Oh, man, I got a heap of upcoming projects. I'm about to uh, star in my first feature film. What I'm starring in is called Waiting to Inhale. Okay. So I can get y'all to know what that's about. <laughs> and, um, it's going to be a very funny comedy, and I'll be starring in it. Um, I'm on tour. Uh, I'm on the Laugh Out Loud comedy tour right now. I travel all around the country every week. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. Um, 
I got uh, I'm also doing my own TV show, Shawty You Do It, okay. reality slash comedy. So you know I'm getting it in. Maybe you have me on your show. Oh yeah, but All it's right. a venture. It's a venture now. You want to come <laughs> jump out one of them hey, planes? Well, I'm gonna ask you this. Yeah. What high, what, you say you're from Atlanta. Yeah. What high school you attended? I went to Harper High School. Oh man, you right around the corner from Thero. You want to go to Thero? I'm you from Ben Hill. All right, all right, you all right. Hey yeah. man. Well, Shawty, uh, tell everybody how to get in contact with you and. Give them a number, a website, so they can uh, get in touch with you. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Shouty Comedian. Follow me on Instagram at Shouty Comedian. Facebook, Shouty Comedian. You can go on my website, www.shoutyshouty.com. Get all my latest videos, all of that, man. The whole ATL, the whole world know me, man. You can all see right. me on Nick Cannon's Wildin' Out Nightly on MTV. Okay, all right. And we'll be right back. And uh, we enjoy having our guest, Shouty. We look forward to having him. And look for him. Hey, you got to have me back so I can tell some jokes. All right. Hey. Make sure you have me on your show. I'm going to bring you. I'm going to bring you. I heard you say you was a lotion man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. All right. <laughs> All right. Dr. Linda Kelly, Cobb Wellness and Aesthetics. Renew, rejuvenate, and restore inside and out. She's located in 1905 Woodstock Road, Roswell, Georgia. And her phone number is 770-649-0094. That's 770-649-0094. Dr. Linda Kelly, Cobb Wellness and Aesthetics. Family-owned East West Jewelry. We are a boutique-style jeweler that offers custom jewelry, fine watches, new trophies. We have them too. East West Jewelers, located at 305 Peace Street Road, 404 869 East West Jewelers, come check us out. Supply, where my beauty is your beauty. Female minority owned beauty supply retailer, Maureen Yancey, honored as one of the top 25 women of Atlanta with Rolling Out Magazine. Open six days a week. We're located at 5514 Lawrenceville Highway, Suite C, Lilburn, Georgia, 770-717-1740. Again, 770-717-1740. My beauty, beauty supply. We've got some fabulous guests with us today, and uh, I'm just excited to have this fabulous, another one of our roses. And of course, we won't leave out the gentleman. He's handsome as well. We've got two handsome men on the stage and yes, two beautiful do. women on. Oh, yeah. Hello, right. everybody. <laughs> so, first of all, Bishop Brown, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, last year was a very busy year. This year is even busier. Mm -hmm. But um, looking forward to it. Excited to wake up every morning to see what God has done and is going to do. Yeah, because you never know what's going on and the way the atmosphere is shifting, you know, and God's got a lot of great things going on. It's just that we got to be right in the plan so that we don't miss mm -hmm. that window mm -hmm. because right now the window is open and you can just step right into that because that's where the anointing is. That's where your abundance is. That's where your fulfillment is. Yes. That's where your joy is, mm -hmm. your peace. And okay, well, I'm not going <laughs> to preach right now. Let me just go back to Bishop. You wear mm. so many hats and uh, you just just do everything, but you do it quite well. And Reggie and I were very excited to get to meet you and to get to come out to your place of business. And it, it's just fabulous. Why don't you tell everybody 
about what you're doing. And I don't know, Reggie, you've got a lot of questions for it. Yeah, right? I'll just kind of uh, follow up on what she said. Tell our viewers some of the things that's most important to you right now at this time, because, you know, being a, a Christian, we want to do a lot of things as much as we can, as, mm -hmm. as quickly as we can. But reality, we only can do so much and be effective at doing. Well, tell us uh -huh. what's important to you right now and what are you doing? Uh, I know you're doing so many great things for the community. Well, as a clinical psychologist, um, that's been my past several years and a Christian counselor with A Love Counseling Center. However, last year I took care of my mom with, with dementia, which really shut me down and kept me in the house and allowed me to sit, eat, and watch Jerry Springer. Okay. <laughs> but while I was doing that, I did come to um, kind of a decision of sorts where I had to ask myself, where was I the happiest in my life? And that was during the time I had a couple of thrift stores. Well, I decided to go back and find my joy. And when I came to that conclusion, God said, and youth showcase. Well, I had no idea what that was, but if he wanted to tack it on, that was fine. I'd figure it out sooner or later. <laughs> so we decided, a girlfriend of mine and I, to go and open a thrift store. So we took over the Kingston Meat Market building in the Penley Plaza, where the Georgia Department of Labor is on Covington Highway. And um, we, we had a whole lot of challenges with the building because it had been empty for several years, and it was just horrific because it had been a meat market and slaughterhouse. Hmm. So um, we spent all of our money up front just trying to get the building prepared to be able to walk into it without wanting to be sick. Um, but when we got in there, some magnificent things happened. Um, one was we met Dr. Richard Pryor who came in to visit us one day. Okay, and I was cool. talking about our plans to yeah. do as a therapist one of the, historically Operation Street Harvest, my 20 year nonprofit, we've catered to adults. We've had shelters, we've had a million dollar a year food bank sponsored by AMP before they left Georgia. A lot of stuff going on. But during that time I sat at home with my mom, God began to allow me to meditate on the children. Now, 99% of the children that I see don't have a father in the home. Probably 50% are being raised by grandma. Um, kick door seems to be the favorite job of the day. Uh, and it, just a lot of stuff. Uh -huh. A lot of them have dropped out of school or um, dropping out as we speak. So God put my focus on you. Uh -huh. And what we, we were in the store talking about this one day. And unbeknownst to me who he was... He said, you know, I think I can help you. And he started telling me that he did the symphony orchestra at Emory. And, and I thought, oh, my God, how awesome is that? And then the next day, I was telling someone about how fabulous Richard was. And she was, this lady was standing there very poised and dignified. <laughs> and I was just in awe of this lady's character. And she said, you know, I read something about you. And I have taught Barbizon for, what, 20, 30 years. And... I got Miss Georgia in place and Miss Chicago in place and Miss Teen Chicago in place. Wow. And I want to help. And then the next day, a guy came in, and he was furious because we'd had some T-shirts <laughs> donated to us. And so I was in a session, and my partner came, and she says, uh, Tanya, there's somebody out here complaining about the T-shirts being his, and he, he only allowed them to make 50, and they can't donate his merchandise, and he's going to sue, and he's just going on and on. And I said, just fix it, fix it. And so then she came back, she said, can you talk to him? And so he's standing there and I said, sorry, I said, can you come in? So he came in, sat down and he's just going on and on about how furious he was about us having the t-shirts in the window. And I looked at him and I said, so what is it you'd like to teach here? And he went, and, and as he teared up, he really did. He teared up and he said, divine intervention. He said, I've been praying to God to ask how I can work with kids. And I said, well, it, it, as I did Richard and everyone else, I say, pick yourself a title <laughs> and name your program, because this is not about me. All right. So Richard. Mm -hmm. And so you are the one and only Richard that she was talking, alluding to, right? Yes. I am. <laughs> and, and listen, I, I gotta do this, okay? His name is Richard Pryor, okay? <laughs> What? Well, Mr. Okay, Pryor, now. Mr. Pryor, tell us, <laughs> tell us quickly about um, what you're doing, how you relating it to uh, Ms. Brown, Bishop Brown. 
Sure. Uh, well, like Bishop Brown, uh, I too wear many hats. Uh, I conduct uh, the Emory University Symphony Orchestra and also Ooh, the Youth wonderful. Symphony, which is a pretty large youth symphony yes, program it is. Mm -hmm. that uh, involves anything up to 150 uh, high school students and also some middle school students. And then, you know, I do various other things kind of involving the arts and serving on various committees and okay. this, that and the other. So I've got a huge investment in the arts and truly believe in the power of the arts to really help shape lives, mm -hmm. you know, be it sort of you know, young lives or adult lives. You know, and I've seen that in practice. Okay. And so you know, certainly our involvement is you know, to design youth arts education programs, uh, particularly compensating for the reduction of those programs in the high schools. And so you know, it can't just all be about the basic building blocks mm -hmm. of education. Mm -hmm. You've got That's to true. allow right. you know, kind of the heart and the soul to sort of develop and appreciate things okay. through And that would be arts. some of the things that we yeah. would probably try to implement with Ruth's house. Yes, what do you yes, think? yes. So we'll definitely be having you back and we want we to have you talk back. about it because we're, uh, we have some, a project called Ruth's House for Homeless mm. Moms and Children mm. yeah. and we talk about helping our kids and, and that's one of the things we need to mm -hmm. get them mm -hmm. something positive, uh, not just sitting them down in front of a computer mm -hmm. or sitting them in front of the television, mm -hmm. but teach them something where they get a peace that's of right. mind. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Bishop Brown, uh, one of the things I wanted to give you a, uh, a plot on, in your thrift store, people can come mm, and yeah. do their community service through your store. And I think that is just That's fantastic. That's wonderful. We are partnering with Hands on Atlanta with that and United Way. And I just would never have believed the amount of labor that we're getting through those programs, especially Hands on uh -huh. Atlanta. I love them so much. We have people calling every day. So usually in our store, even though we haven't quite opened the doors yet, that will be next Monday. But usually in our store, we have six to seven volunteers a day from Hands on Atlanta because they need to do community service. And it's interesting because we have sororities and fraternities that do community service. We have um, people in the neighborhood that just want to come in and hang out that, that volunteer <laughs> community service. That's Older great. women who are bored who just want to come in and do community service. Bishop Brown and uh, Mr. Pryor, I'm so glad y'all came by mm -hmm. to visit us. We'd love to have you back and uh, gotcha. let everyone know about what the great things you're doing, continue to do them. And, uh, you God sent people, and we're just thankful that you came in to the JD and Reggie show. We look forward to having you back. Thank you. You're welcome. Make sure you tune in next time on the Art of Relating with JD and Reggie. Thank you.